so we've already started with the biomolecules chapter so i've show, given you a flow chart for the carbohydrates uh, topic and gradually i went into uh, the explanation of classification based on hydrolysis uh, based on the reducing properties and all these now let us start start with the first topic that is monosaccharides right so in that monosaccharides i already gave you an example of your uh, glucose the structure of glucose fructose ribose and deoxyribose now let us start with the actual structure which is prescribed for your uh, grade 12 syllabus that is glucose so let us write the structure of glucose right when i speak this uh, uh, about the structure of glucose a uh, glucose is going to exist uh, in as as we see open chain structure open chain structures are always called fissured structures fissure uh, structures are also called open chain structures and after that in nature glucose molecule exists in the form of cyclic structures that we are going to see now and it also we are also going to draw havoc structures that cyclic structures basically written in the form of havoc structures so remember open chain structures are called fissure structures and your cyclic structures are called havoc structures so let us write the first one so first one the formula for glucose say 6h12 o6 so we are we're going to write fissure structures fissure structures or open structures open chain structures both are the same so <clears throat> as we have drawn this is your first carbon this is your second carbon third carbon fourth fifth and your sixth carbon this is what we have drawn in our previous video now let us make the fissure structure if without mentioning the carbon atom we're just going to draw the skeleton so i'm going to name this as same thing okay i'll write it here open chain structure open chain structure now observe there is nothing much difference uh, compared to this in open chain structure what you are going to do is you are not going to write the carbon atoms just may mention the carbon skeleton yes now in the first carbon what do you have c double bond o and your h correct now this is one two three four five and the sixth one sixth one is your ch2oh now fill in the hydrogens hydrogen here oxygen second so number it one this is two the third one as soon as you come to the third carbon oh on this side h on this side and the fourth one h and oh fifth one h and oh correct yes now this is your open chain structure of your glucose d glucose now what happens basically your <coughs> d glucose or your fructose they exist in the form of cyclic structures in nature they are going to form a cycle or a ring is formed between the fifth carbon and the first carbon once again in nature has a written a ring forms between the fifth carbon and the first carbon so it's going to show as it's going to form two different uh, structures or which are in equilibrium yes this open chain structure is in equilibrium with two forms one is your alpha d plus gluco pyranose i'm just writing pyranose now i'll be showing pyranose structure a six membered cyclic structure and it's going to form beta just write d plus gluco pyranose structures both it's going to exist in alpha form as well as beta form correct yes so when i'm speaking about alpha form let's just observe carefully now i said fifth carbon right now to this fifth carbon one two three three four right one two three four five six seven eight correct yes now first in the formation of cyclic structures this bond is going to shift here and this lone pair of electron right forms a cyclic structure and this h shifts to the first one how does this look first of all just see let us draw the skeleton okay last not a problem correct yes now this is your first carbon now this is let me show you clearly first carbon now this h is here on my left hand side for alpha the h is on the left hand side and your oxygen already this double bond has shifted o correct now what did i say from the fifth carbon the hydrogen is going to shift now what happens let me write this first this is one 
yes now from the fifth carbon now i'm here in the fifth carbon this oxygen is going to form a cyclic structure with the first carbon and this hydrogen is going to shift here h yes from here this is going to form a cyclic structure a ring structure and the hydrogen shifts to the first carbon yeah now remaining all are same draw this make this cyclic structure remaining all are same your h o h is same your o h h is same and your h and o h is same yes now this is your c1 carbon c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 yes now this c1 carbon let us write this c1 let us write what is c1 beta let us come back to beta now in alpha i said h is on this side oh is on the side now hold this carbon and you want to rotate this is going to get rotated this will rotate in this way so when i rotate means like this this particular thing so oh comes to this side h goes to the other side how does this look now you have your carbon skeleton ch2 oh is here yes now in the first carbon now in beta carbon in beta d glucose oh is here and h is here okay now one two three four five careful in the fifth carbon i said the oxygen is going to form a ring with the first one remaining all are same this is your first carbon second third fourth and fifth yes now this is your c1 carbon now observe carefully where is the differing your whole glucose molecule is differing only at one position that is c1 carbon now this c1 carbon and this c1 carbon where there is a variation in the configuration of that particular molecule that c1 carbon is called anomer what is it called so c1 is called anomeric carbon anomeric carbon right where there is a variation in the configuration and this one and this one these two are called anomers so what are anomers anomers are those structures which differ in the configuration at the c1 position means here we are speaking about c1 position c1 carbon where there is a variation in configuration h here and oh here and that is the only difference so those two is are those two are called anomers which show a, a variation in this one are called anomers yes none now here when i compare these two yes your alpha structure is less stable compared to beta structure beta structures are more stable so beta are more stable yes now alpha structure means the existence of glucose molecule mostly is in beta form yes so this because if i speak in terms of percentage this only is uh, your uh, 36% of existence in uh, nature and this is 64% existence in nature so seeing the percentage also you can clearly say so beta is the maximum uh, percentage or the gl uh, glucose exists in beta form rather than alpha so remember cyclic structure or sorry open chain structure fissure projection structure cyclic structures alpha and beta yeah so let us come back and draw havoc structures